What is going on everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess the sound works because I can hear myself. Alright, everything looks good. By the way, I'm not going to be streaming this on YouTube anymore, but I am going to, like after I'm done streaming this on Twitch, I will premiere this on YouTube so you could still live chat while watching it and I'll be in the chat as well I'll be watching I'll re be watching the stream back with you guys I'll be in the chat talking to you guys so so if you're watching this when this premieres on my YouTube channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button for more let's get started There we go. Welcome back to another LCW Asylum episode right here on my channel. This is the aftermath of what happened on the summer showdown that happened last Friday. It was a great pay-per-view. Who came out as champion? We're going to find out on this episode. But we're kicking things off with the current champion. Yes, he's... He did retain last Friday against Sweet Tooth in a Hell in a Cell match. He pretty much dominated that match. But Sweet Tooth will be in action later on as he teams up with his buddy from Twisted Metal, Psycho Clown, going up against my boy Ray Wolf and our big monster, Dios de la guerra so that should be a good one that's the co-main event right there then of course as you can see on the title triple threat women's tag team championship match in the main event for the women LCW women tag team titles yeah, I can't wait for that one. Los Loca Lobos versus the Tribe versus the Champions. The iconic duo. But let's see what the champion has to say. And I hear myself again, this time on my tablet. <laughs> Cool. There he comes. The cocky champion. Well, he deserves to be cocky because he's been very successful in defending his title. But anyways, like I said before, after I'm done streaming this live on Twitch, I will premiere this stream on my YouTube channel. So I'll be I'll be in the chat watching it with you with you guys. So can't wait to see what you guys think from the YouTube side of things.
What's this guy saying? Evil eyes. Right. If you guys remembered before his title defense at the pay-per-view, he fought Evil Eyes in a one-on-one -on -one match, and Evil Eyes actually defeated him. So I guess he hasn't forgot about that. And speak of the devil, there he comes. Who will, Evil Eyes will be in action right after this, so he better just stay out there. Evil Eyes is going to go one on one with yours truly, Local Joe, for the first time ever. So pretty much Evil Eyes is in line for a title shot. Maybe I'll book that right now for the next pay-per-view because the next pay-per-view is hosted by the Asylum called No Escape. Every match in that pay-per-view will be in Hell in a Cell. So I'll book it right now. Since Evil Eyes did defeat JT3 a couple of weeks ago, Evil Eyes will get his title shot at the pay per view one on one in a Hell in a Cell. Yo, thanks for the host, Anthony. Appreciate it. I almost feel sorry for you, almost, but I'm not. Yeah, I saw that, but when I did it, it just gave me freaking those, like, those points for the my player thing I used that code and it didn't give me the hair versus hair match it gave me like points for the my player and a big right hand by evil eyes and evil eyes looking to put him away right here boom hitting fang special right there I'm sure fang won't like that one. Evil Eyes tossing him to the outside. And now the champion. Oh, with the shin breaker. Now goes back into the ring, goes back. They're just taking turns now. Oh, and the jawbreaker by the champion. Oh, and a nice neck breaker, and the champion is down. Look at Evil Eyes wants a piece of him, but the champion's like, nah, buddy. We'll do this at the pay per view, man.
Well, Evil Eyes, you better just stay out there because you're in a match right now against yours truly being accompanied by the returning Crazy Emma. Yes, if you guys don't remember her, she was in Season 1 of LCW. She was a part of the girl faction, the Lady Wolf Pack. And she returns right here, right now, with me during my match. But she will be in action. She'll return to action next Monday. So I can't wait to see her back in action. Let me know if that code worked for you, because it didn't work for me for some reason. I wonder if it's different for... Um, for maybe different people. Because I tried using the code from Smack Talk his video and it just gave me freaking like a hundred and like fifteen hundred points or whatever And here he comes, coming back out to the ring, Evil Eyes. If you guys just missed it, he just got in a big old rumble with the champion, JT3. And these two will face off one-on-one -on -one for the LCW World Heavyweight title in a couple weeks at the Asylum pay-per-view called No Escape. Every match in that pay-per-view will be in Hell in a Cell. Evil Eyes deserve that world title shot after defeating the champ. But he's been on a roll in a lot of his matches lately, so yeah, he deserves it. And what a statement would it be if he defeats me, a former world heavyweight champion myself. And being accompanied by Crazy Emma. Emma. And from Oakland, California, weighing in at 218 pounds, Loco Joe. Crazy Emma returning to LCW. She will be in action next week. Damn, fucking lights are blinding the fans right there. And I brought back my old entrance too.
There we go. The action already kicked off when Evil Eyes and the champion JT3 freaking got into a brawl when JT3 called out Evil Eyes. But the first match of the night is right here. European uppercut by yours truly, Local Joe. But Evil Eyes with that counter into an arm bar. And now just elbow right to the shoulder. And now let's see if we get a clean break right here. Oh, got a clean break. Oh, but a big clothesline by Local Joe. And now he's pulling him back up. Oh, backbreaker. But he's not done just yet. Another backbreaker. Multiple backbreakers. But Evil Eyes with the counter into a back body drop. And now going for an arm bar. Oh, what a nice headbutt by Evil Eyes. And now focusing on that arm. Looking to connect with that arm bar again. Local Joe with the dragon screw. Focusing on that leg. Oh, but look at that. Triangle hold. Oh, but look at the strength of Evil Eyes. Oh, that's one way of breaking it up. Oh, big forearm by Evil Eyes. And then a spear from out of nowhere. And right now, Evil Eyes is in control. Oh, but Local Joe catches him into another dragon screw. Possibly setting him up for that local lock. Oh, here it comes. Oh, there's the finisher made famous by Fang. And now focusing on that arm again. Oh, he's got him in the cross face. But look at it, he's got that arm. Oh, but Local Joe elbows right to the face, breaking up. Or breaking out of the grips. Luthes press. No oh, big right hand by Evil Eyes. No oh, kick right to the legs. Evil Eyes focusing on the arm. Local Joe focusing on the legs. There it is, the last shot. And now, looking for that local driver. Is this going to be enough? Evil Eyes kicking out with ease. Evil Eyes with the shoulder block. Again, focusing on that arm again. Oh, big forearm smash. It follows that up with the right hand. Possibly knocking out Local Joe right there. One, two, but Local Joe kicks out. I know why it did not work. How come? Oh, big forearm. And now... Flying clothesline. April Fool's, duh. <laughs> Should have known. Look at Joe going to the top rope. No, oh, but he catches them in midair. Oh, high knee lift. Forearm. And another forearm. And a Pele kick. What a match this has been to kick things off. Oh, here it comes. The last shot. 
busting them wide open. Is that going to be enough? One, two, and he kicked out. My goodness. And now Local Joe setting him up. Here it comes. Local driver. One, two, and Evil Eyes kicks out. No, oh, I rake. And then a right hand. That's got to be it right there. And Evil Eyes with the victory. Huge victory over the former champ. Question is, can he do that again? To the to become the championship at the pay-per-view. Local Joe put him put him to the test in this match. And you could say Evil Eyes passed this test. Oh man, I don't know how he kicked out of that. That was dead on his head. Here is your winner, Big Evil Dangerous Oxley. Huge victory for Evil Eyes. He looks ready for his title match at the pay per view. But we're not going to stop the action right there. What a way to kick kick off the show with a great one-on-one -on -one match. But we're going to see the rematch from probably like a, what, a month ago. When Havoc and Poison pretty much embarrassed Mass Terror and Alpha Terror by squashing them in their title defense against against these two big monsters so now they want to get their little want to get their revenge they want to prove that it was a fluke that they just embarrassed them like that well we'll see The tag champs got their leader with them, Trevor. He wasn't around at the time when the champions embarrassed Mass Terror and Alpha Terror. Maybe this time Trevor wants to witness it up close. And speaking of champion, the LCW World Heavyweight Champion will be in action right after this match against the up-and-comer Ikani Hero. So I can't wait to watch that one. That's going to be a great match. Two K got us with that April Fools thinking that we were gonna get a hair versus hair match in this game. They got us good. Here they come. 
Mass Terror and Alpha Terror also known as the Faces of Fear My Masked God, Man, Terror and Alpha Terror, the faces of fear. Combined weight of 950 pounds. That is insane. People watching this on YouTube watching the premiere of this on YouTube hit that like button also hit that subscribe button to watch future LCW Asylum episodes LCW underground episodes and pay-per-views hit that follow button on Twitch Two mass, the mass terror and alpha terror, way more than all three of them combined. That's insane. Do you guys think that Alpha Terror and Mass Terror will get the revenge against these two after they were embarrassed the last time these two faced off against each other? If they do get their revenge and defeat them, then they will get a, another title shot. Alright, looks like the faces of fear are ready. Oh, going, going for that running knee strike right away. Oh, and then it connects with it this time. No, nope. Mass Terrors hasn't forgot what happened last time. with the elbow but look at mass terror with the right hand right to the gut 
Oh, then a kick right to the back of the neck. And now Alpha Terra is in. Once again, wants to get a piece of havoc. Oh, big elbow. And now the Irish whip into the corner. Oh, follows that up with the clothesline. And now keeping him away from his partner. Another Irish whip to the corner. And another clothesline. Keeping his ass grounded. Big toss. And now look at Trevor distracting the ref. And then Alpha Terra just runs over Havoc. And Havoc getting the hot tag into Poison. Missing with that clothesline though. One, two. And now Alpha Terra trying to get that hot tag, but poison preventing him from doing that. Poison showing some strength, connecting with that power bomb. I was about to say, Poison is all over Alpha Terror, but then Alpha Terror uh, reversing that. Oh, look at that counter. Oh, into an STO. And of course, Poison with infinite reverses. Me and Ray experienced that the past few weeks. Oh, look at it. Tossing him like a, like a rag doll. And now Irish whip to the corner. The fierce stampede. My goodness. Why does everyone have this fucking move? Why would you put it on... On characters that look like this? <laughs> and Trevor... Distracting the referee so he doesn't go... So he doesn't count them out. Oh, jumping knee strike by Havoc. Big left hand by Poison. Follows that up with an elbow right to the face. And now tossing him like nothing. And now just stomping a mud hole on him. And look at Trevor distracting Alpha Terror. And now Poison takes advantage of that. Hits that inverted DDT. And he's calling it right now. He's looking to end things. Yo, what's up, Mr. Two Belts? Leo's not on this show. He's on the show that's on Fridays. <laughs> oh, and Alpha Terra taking out Havoc. This is the second match of the night. So, so far in the beginning of the show, the champion JT3 called out Evil Eyes and then they got into a brawl. And then Evil Eyes had to stay out there because he was in a match with yours truly, Local Joe, who got a hard fought win over me. But Evil Eyes will be getting a world title shot at the next pay-per-view. And then now we got this tag team match between the Faces of Fear and the Disciples of Darkness. Infinite reverses for Poison. Inverted DD3.
Oh, big right hand. And another one. Oh, with the reversal. Oh, his connecting with that knee. And look at the strength of Poison. Oh, GTS. And now running soccer style kick. Goes for the pin. Oh, but he was too close to the ropes. And now just focusing on the shoulder blade. Oh, and look at Trevor getting involved. Going for that triple power bomb. Here it comes into the darkness. And now Trevor getting tossed, getting banned from ringside. No, oh, but the disciples of darkness get screwed. Well, not again, but it looks like the disciples of darkness have the number of the faces of fear. Even though they got help from their leader to defeat them. Hmm. I might have something for next nightmare. week for Trevor. And the nightmare, Xander he wants to get involved to make it three on two. So maybe next week the numbers won't be in his favor next week when he has to go up against both members of the Faces of Fear in a two-on-one match. Let's see how powerful he really is. Here we go, the champion JT3 going up against the up and comer Akani Hero. This would be a good match right here. Akani Hero's been on a roll lately. Almost got the number one contender, uh, won, almost won the number one contender battle royal for the US title. Uh, was it a couple weeks ago? But. Aaron Cassidy got that win and will be getting his title shot after this match, actually. But maybe a Connie Hero can earn himself a world title shot by defeating. JT3 I might I might end up adding him to that match at the pay-per-view if he gets the victory over the champion right now JT3 needs to watch out for this guy's kicks because this guy has some deadly ass kicks. Just ask Buzz. He felt them two weeks in a row and he lost because of them. <laughs> Here we go. Kanahiro looks ready. He's ready to defeat that champ. Uh, looks like the champion has a new entrance. 
and some new gear. JT3. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 268 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, JTZ. OJJ, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just remember, Alistair Klein still has that briefcase. He could cash in on him anywhere, anytime. So it could happen tonight. It could happen before the pay-per-view. It could happen at the pay-per-view. It's like when Alistair Klein sees the perfect opportunity to cash in, he'll do it. Just ask OJJ. OJJ cashed in his key to the underground briefcase on James Casey when he didn't even expect it. James Casey lost to Nicholas and then OJJ saw the opportunity cashed in, became LCW champ. <laughs> exactly. You swooped in. Swooped in and took that title from him. But JT3 with that headlock. No, oh, follows that up with an elbow. And now, Akane Hero with the shoulder block. Let's see if he can get back in this matchup. And now, oh, focusing on that arm. Oh, European uppercut by Akane Hero. Follows that up with a sling blade. And now, Akane Hero. All over the champion right now. Knee right to the back of the neck, putting all his weight into that. Oh man, going for a belly to belly, but Akane Hero saw it coming, connecting with the clothesline, dropping the champion to the outside. And now the champion tossing him back in because that's the only way to win is inside the ring. Another sling blade by Akane Hero. And now JT3 with the eye rake right in front of the ref. And then a running knee strike. No oh, big shoulder block though. No oh, flying clothesline I think. I, I couldn't tell. But here comes those kicks. Look at those deadly kicks, and then the final blow! Dragging him into the middle. Is this gonna be it? Oh, but the champion kicks out. Akane Hero thought it was over right there. The champion. Beautiful counter. Champion looking to finish off Akane Hero right here. Oh, look at that. Tossing him from his neck. Back body drop by the champion. And now focusing on the neck of Akane Hero. Uh-oh, here it comes. This is the neck breaker that usually leads up to the JT bomb. Here comes the JT bomb. One, two, oh, and Akane Hero kicks out. JT3 says it's over. But Akane Hero has other plans. 
Oh, looking for that dirty pin. Trying to get one over on the champ. Oh, here comes Blue Thunderbomb, but Akane Hero reversing it into a running knee strike. Oh, and then another running knee strike. Oh, big clothesline. And another one. Oh, and a single leg drop kick. I want to see someone actually get pinned like that. I know, right? I have yet to see anybody get a finish with that dirty pin. Oh, Akane here. I almost had it right there. Almost pinned the champ. And now looking to finish him off with those deadly, vicious kicks. There it is. Is this the end of the champion right here? Oh, man. One, two. Oh, man, he kicked out. I can't believe it. Oh, man. Oh, and back body drop. Uh-oh, JT3 going for the AA. And connecting. But Akane Hero fights back, European uppercut. Oh, running knee strike missed. Oh, then bouncing his head off that top turnbuckle. Trying to take the title of Iron Jaw away from me. I know, right? That's OJJ's freaking his gimmick. He's the Iron Jaw. The JT Bomb. That's got to be it. And JT3. Victorious. Uh-oh. Alistair Klein. He's going to cash in. He wants to hold two titles going into his title defense, his U.S. title defense. Here we go. And a takedown. JT3 just finished a long, grueling match. And now Alistair Klein looking to take that title away. But JT3 wants to keep it. And now choking out Alistair Klein. Elster Klein was not expecting this. Elster Klein. Oh, big kick. Elbow right to the face. And now focusing on that arm. Are we going to have a new champ right here? One, two, JT3 kicking out. Nope, can't pick up the big man. But look at the strength of Alistair Klein. Oh, but look at the smartness of JT3 though. JT3 is freaking tired. He just had a match. And now he's defending his title right here. Look at him, looking to finish him off with the JT bomb. Here it comes. The JT bomb. Is he going to retain? One, two. Oh, man. Alistair Klein kicks out. JT3 does not want to give up that belt. Oh, man. Uh-oh, Alistair Klein. Oh, my God. JT3 has infinite reverses, too, just like poison. Oh, he's going for that arm bar. Is he going to tap out?
Oh, but look at Alex Klein. He knows how to get out from these. Former MMA fighter right there. Oh, nice uppercut. Big right hand by Alistair Klein. The Irish whip. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a power slam. And now biting the fingers of the champion. But JT3 with infinite reverses. Alistair Klein smartly rolls to the outside. Oh, nice punch. Uh-oh. Alistair Klein. Looking to put him to sleep. Are we going to have a new champ? Alistair Klein cashes in and becomes your new world heavyweight champion. Oh, my God. Getting that sleeper hold from out of nowhere. Putting the champion to sleep. And Alistair Klein better just stay out there because he's defending his U.S. title right now. Oh, man. What a win for JT3. Here is your winner. Just to lose your belt right after. Alistair Klein, your new LCW World Heavyweight Champ and your current LCW US Champ. So this man is holding two titles right now. Yeah, your cash-in was like a natural cash-in because you just went in there, freaking did your stunner, and that was it. <laughs> you, you won. He actually had to work for his freaking victory. This was like an actual, like, match. Match. But that's JT3, though. That fool was just won't give up. That's why he's been the champion for so fucking long. Well, we got the new LCW Women's Champion, Saud Guerrero, who defeated Low London last Friday at the pay-per-view, going one-on-one -on -one with AJ Lee. This should be one hell of a matchup right here. Okay, I thought Aleister Klein was defending his U.S. title right after, but... Apparently, it's just after this match. I don't know my own card. What the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. AJ Lee, Saul Guerrero. Making her way to the ring from Jersey City, New Jersey, AJ Lee. Maybe she could get a future title shot with the win over the champ. I honestly wish AJ Lee would come back to the WWE. Because she was just too great. Because since freaking Paige is done, well, air quotes, done with the neck injury. I mean, I think, I think a Paige will return. Just another Daniel Bryan story right there.
from El Paso, Texas, the women's world champion, Shaw Guillermo. That bow looks good on her. World champion, just like her father. Bet you Low London is in the back just with steam coming out of her ears. Watching her walk down the aisle with her title. But she will get her rematch, like I said, at the pay-per-view. She'll get her one-on-one -on -one rematch at the paper at the next pay-per-view. Unless AJ Lee could get a victory right here to make it a triple threat match. Oh, the that AJ Lee with a DDT right from the start. But the champion with the nail elbow right to the gut follows it up with the flying clothesline. And now baseman drop kick right to the back of the head. Big right hand by the champ. AJ Lee saw that one coming. And now, what a nice leg lock. Oh, but then using her long legs, taking advantage of that. And now looking to hyper hyperextend that arm. Oh my god. That move is so fucking deadly. AJ Lee with the counter into a jawbreaker. Oh, going for that basement drop kick. AJ Lee still fighting back. Oh, big clothesline to the outside. And now nice fireman takedown. Damn, AJ, calm down. <laughs> oh, man. Her face bouncing off that hardest part of the apron right there. And now the champion tossing her back into the ring. And now AJ going right back after her. But the champion saw her coming. Oh, but look at AJ elbows right to the side of the jaw. And now the champion breaking free of AJ's grip. I downloaded her. Oh, man. Oh, then her head bouncing off again. Oh, then a running knee strike. Her head connecting hard to Saul the hardest part of the knee of Saul oh kick right to the spine ouch and now Saul going for the three amigos just like her dad two one more there it is That's usually the setup to her standing frog splash. But AJ Lee counters. Shining Wizard from out of nowhere. That's her finisher, I think. Or used to be. And now focusing on the leg. Death Valley Bomb. And now Saul checking out her freaking shoulder. Waiting for AJ Lee to get back up. 
Oh, missing with that flying clothesline. AJ Lee connecting with the flying clothesline of her own, but the champion completely no selling it. No, oh, into a a power bomb into a cutter. I did not know she had that. And there it is, standing frog splash. That's how she won the title. Oh, AJ Lee. Getting her shoulder up. What a match this has been. Oh, man. And now, going for the three amigos again. Two. And numero tres. AJ Lee not giving up. Elbow, or not elbow, jawbreaker. And now looking to make her submit. Oh, but look at Saul. Oh my God. I did not know you could get out of that just like that. <laughs> oh, dragon screw by AJ. And the champion smartly rolls out of the ring. AJ looking to fly. Oh, missing with the elbow. Uh oh. Oh man, what a German suplex. Let's see if the champion could get her back into the ring. No, oh, big clothesline by AJ Lee. Oh, nice backbreaker and another one. And then tossing her like nothing. <laughs> Stomping the back of the head of AJ Lee. Oh man, big right hand. These two going back and forth. And now the champion tossing her back into the ring. And now gonna bounce her head off the apron. And then finish it off with a running knee. Or a jumping knee. Uh oh, AJ Lee looking to finish her off right here. Possibly going for the Black Widow submission. Oh, the AJ Lee tossing her. Uh oh, here it comes Shining Wizard. That's got to be it. Woo, and the champion kicks out with these. Uh oh, she's not done just yet. Here comes the Black Widow. AJ Lee makes the champion tap out. Well, looks like we got ourselves a triple threat match for the women's world title at the pay-per-view in Hell in a Cell. Because if you guys didn't know or hear me earlier, the next pay-per-view is an asylum pay-per-view called No Escape. Every match is in hell in a cell. So now, not only does the champion need to worry about Low London, now she has to worry about AJ Lee now. There we go. Aaron Cassidy, the man who won the eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal to earn his U.S. title shot. Going up against the new, yes, new 
world heavyweight champion who cashed in not too long ago against JT3. So he's looking to enter the pay-per-view as a double champ. But Aaron Cassidy is no joke. He's a former hardcore champ. I don't know if he's been a tag champ, but he's a former hardcore champ. I know for a fact. But he did defeat seven other men to earn this shot, so he's a tough cookie. And he's got his partner by his side. What a way to kick off the second hour of LCW Asylum with a U.S. title match. Thank you, Jojo. Yeah. There's the challenger. This is absolutely wonderful. Delete, delete, delete. The ultimate maniacs. Ain't that freaking the truth? Are we looking at the freaking new US champ right here? No, not this guy, but Aaron Cassidy. Cassidy looking to delete the U.S. title from Aleister Klein. Also, the new world heavyweight champ. Let's see if Aleister Klein could pull off, or not Aleister Klein, Aaron Cassidy could pull off the upset right here. There he comes, the U.S. champ and the world heavyweight champ. Everybody who just joined, this man is the world heavyweight champ. He cashed in his key to the asylum briefcase on the champion at the time, JT3, to become the new LCW world heavyweight champ. So now he's going to defend his U.S. champ, or U.S. title, against the winner of the eight-man over-the-top-rope battle royal 
match that happened a couple weeks ago. Aaron Cassidy. I'm actually going to be pulling for Aaron Cassidy in this match. <laughs> there it is. U.S. title on the line. Introducing the challenger from the old country, weighing <laughs> in at 231 pounds. The old country. Aaron Introducing the champion from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 299 pounds, he is the United States Heavyweight Champion, Alexander Klein. Well, he won't be doing double duty at the pay-per-view, but he will be defending that U.S. title if he retains. Again, on the go home show before the pay-per-view. And then defending his World Heavyweight title in a triple threat match against JT3 and Evil Eyes. Oh, Aaron Cassidy avoiding that trip. Oh, inverted DDT. Oh, but another trip. And this time connecting by Alistair Klein. Keeping the big man grounded with that dragon screw. But the champion with the back body drop. Oh, spinning heel kick. Barely connecting. Oh, and he gets the ref instead. I like that. And I hope if you're watching this on the premiere on my YouTube channel, hit that like button for that ref bump. <laughs> Aaron Cassidy choking out Aleister Klein. But Aleister Klein using his strength, pushing him off. And now biting the fingers, just like what he did to JT3 earlier. Not even a one count. Aaron Cassidy with the left hook right to the gut. And now, side effect. Aaron Cassidy looking to finish him off. Here it comes. Twist of fate. New champ. Two. Oh, man. Too early to go for the pin, I guess. But the challenger, Aaron Cassidy, has the champion on the ropes. Oh, another trip by Alistair Klein. Then a kick right to the chest. Oh, now... Picking every part of the body. Uh-oh. STO. That's usually a setup for his finisher. But Eric Cassidy with the jawbreaker. And then, oh, Tornado DDT. And looking to delete Aleister Klein right here. Dropping him to the outside. Aaron Cassidy taking it to the double champion. Yes, you heard me right. He is a double champ. Alistair Klein with the counter. Oh, then a big kick right to the face. Follows it up with the, with the forearm smash. And I did not notice that. That 
Alistair Klein is busted wide open. No, oh, nice counter by Aaron Cassidy. Oh, <laughs> big forearm. Aaron Cassidy is still fighting back. Big left hand by Aaron Cassidy and a forearm. And now tossing him back into the ring, which is very smart. Elbow right to the face. Let's see if Aaron Cassidy could finish him off right here. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, this might be even a bigger mistake. And he drops him to the outside. Elbow right to the face. And now, focusing on that arm. But Aaron Cassidy fighting back with some punches right to the gut. Oh, then a running neck breaker. What a match this has been. And now, Alistair Klein's got him up. Oh, and down with the AA. And he's not done just yet. He's going to go for one more. Oh, man. If he could get him back into the ring and pin him, that'll be it. But look at Aaron Cassidy fight back again. He wants that U.S. title. Oh, man. Bouncing his head off the, off the apron. Oh, going for a cutter, but Alistair Klein saw it coming. Aaron Cassidy using his speed. Oh, knife edge chop. And then bouncing his head off the pole. Good thing I put no count outs because these two would have been counted out by now. And finally tossing him back into the ring. Oh man, he did not learn from last time. Oh, he connected though. Right on the spine. Here it comes. Twist of fate. There it is. New champion. One, two, three. <laughs> Aaron Cassidy. New U.S. champ. Oh, my God. What a Cinderella story right there. Big time underdog going into that eight man over the top rope battle royal. Ended up winning it. Earning his shot against Alistair Klein for the U.S. title. Another ultimate underdog again. And is your new U.S. champ. Connecting with the twist of fate right there. Still has the world title so he's good. Yeah, exactly. So now we got to find and new United States heavyweight champion. Go on, Jojo. Cassidy. There we go. Yep, your new US champ. Now we got to find out a number 1 contender so we could defend it at the pay-per-view. So I might do like a little mini tournament. So doing like two, let's see, pay-per-views in what? Two weeks, three weeks. So I could do like two matches next week, two more the week after that. And the winner of those four matches face off against each other. Fatal four way on the go home show. Winner gets a U.S. title shot. Sounds good to me. I got to look at the calendar though. So this is the first week. 
then we got next week, week after that, and I think the week after that until the pay-per-view. But we'll find out who he defends that U.S. title against in multiple matches that are going to happen during the week, during the weeks to come. But here we go, co-main event. A rivalry renewed, well, a tag team rivalry renewed. But back in season one when Ray and Local Joe were known as the Wolf Pack, they had a rivalry with Psycho Clown and the leader, Sweet Tooth, of Twisted Metal. But now Ray Wolf and Local Joe are in Los Loco Lobos. That rivalry can continue right here. This time with our big monster, Dios de la Guerra. So we got two big monsters on each side. So this should be a hell of a tag match right here. So now Aleister Klein could focus on just defending his world heavyweight title at the pay-per-view. Not worrying at the not worrying about doing double duty. I completely forgot that I put this music on. Freaking these guys scared the shit out of me right now. If you know, don't know what I'm talking about, I put Kane's old school music the as their the entrance. And that shit was hella loud at the beginning. Psycho Clown and Marcus Kane. Here they come, Twisted Metal. Man, I didn't know Psycho Clown was actually that tall. It's actually pretty, pretty tall. Go. Sweet Tooth trying to get Psycho Clown all pumped up. Psycho Clown's been on a little slump lately. Well, actually, the whole Twisted Metal squad has been on a huge downward spiral the past few months. So let's see if that continues in this match, which I hope it does. Or let's see if they can bounce back and get a victory. And here they come, Ray Wolf and Dios de la Guerra. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 500 pounds, Ray Wolf. And exactly 500 pounds. Wow. There we go, Ray Wolf. Trying to get a victory. A victory for Dios. Or, as I tell you, for Dios. <laughs> get a victory for Los Loco Lobos. Him and Dios Guerra. There we go. Should be a hell of a tag team match, though. Co-main event. Ray versus Psycho Clown. These two battle it out for the... Actually, for the extreme title at one point. And Ray defeated Psycho Clown for that title. 
So there's a lot of history between both both these two and these two teams. And now Ray Wolf, Irish Whip. Oh, punch. Oh, into a DDT. And now dragging him back into the corner. Looking to tag in the big guy. Here it comes. No oh, double axe handle right on the arm. And now Psycho Clown. Looking to bring in his big monster. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's got to work the legs. And there he is, tagging in his monster, Sweet Tooth. Oh! Oh, look at that. that was beautiful double team action right there. And now the two biggest men in this matchup going at it. Oh, nice back body drop by Dios Gira. And now double axe handle right to the spine. Oh, nice high knee lift by Sweet Tooth. And now, showing off the strength with a deadlift powerbomb. Oh, now look at him. Going for that Brock Lock. Oh, nice high knee lift. Oh, then a punch right to the gut, dropping. Sweet tooth, like nothing. And now tagging in Ray. Oh, forearm smash. But sweet tooth countering that. So now tagging in his partner, Psycho Clown. Here we go, some more double team action. And now Ray Wolf with the counter. Oh, snapping his arm right there. Oh, but what a counter by Psycho Clown. Into a Hurricanrana. And now Ray Wolf fighting back. Psycho Clown with the elbows. And now picking up Ray Wolf. No, oh, hitting him with the air raid siren. Oh, then stomping him right in the gut. Oh, missing with that clothesline. And now Ray. Oh, going for a, a suplex. European uppercut. Oh, hitting him with that lucha move. And now tossing Ray to the outside. Psycho Clown all over Ray. And now, no oh, connecting with that Psycho Driver right there. And now hitting them with that low blow. Let's see if Ray Wolf could get back in this matchup. Oh man, and Psycho Clown showing off his strength. But now Ray Wolf fighting back. Dropping Psycho Clown to one knee and connected with the neck breaker. And a jawbreaker to dropping Psycho Clown. But Psycho Clown still fighting back, pushing Ray off right there. Connecting with that five knuckle shuffle type move. Busting Ray wide open. Psycho Clown. Could he get up? The hot tag into the big man. No, oh, there it is. 
And then just shoulder block. Oh, and then dropping Psycho Clown again. But Psycho Clown dropping the big man with the dragon screw. Can Psycho Clown tag in Sweet Tooth? Uh oh, Sunset Flip! Is that gonna be enough? Oh, but look at the counter! Woo, I was close. Oh, elbow right to the back of the head. Ray Wolf back on the apron. Psycho Clown just beating the hell out of Dios Guerra. And now looking to hit him with that drive by. Is that going to be enough? It is Twisted Metal breaking their losing streak. That drive by must have did a lot of damage to finish off that big bastard. <laughs> And Twisted Metal back on their winning ways with a victory over over Los Loco Lobos. And now Los Loco Lobos are the ones that are in a losing streak. Here are your winners, Psycho Clown and Marcus King. That was still one hell of a tag team match though. You might see these two go for those tag titles if they could keep winning going into the pay-per-view. But here we go, finally. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, right. I forgot, Rita Viper has to cut a promo. And then it's to the triple threat women's world tag team title match. But let's see what Rita Viper has to say. Cashing in the money in the bank on the champ during their match turns it into a triple threat match. Huh. Good to know. <clears throat> in a future a future pay per view will determine a new Key to the Asylum and Key to the Underground briefcase holders. Because we got two pay-per-views left and then it's the Survivor Series type pay-per-view that I've been waiting for. Where the champions from each show will face off against each other. Being a woman is about more than just looking pretty. I'm positive there are other females in the back who know this, especially one that I want out here right now, Lisa. Lisa's a new signee. And here she comes. Lisa making her debut right here. And there she is, Lisa, with stitches down her stomach. 
Oh, scratch marks on her chest, too, and leg. Ouch. All right, let's see what Rita Viper has to say to Lisa, why she called her out here. You dare call me out to this ring? You better have something very impressive to say. Otherwise, I'm going to smack you down to the mat so hard you'll regret asking me out here. Damn! Let's form a tag team. Wait, before you walk away, I know it sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. We spent too long at odds, and what has it gotten us? Nowhere. We're stuck in the rut, aren't we? Ah, and we got a tag team title match right after. Wonder if she wants to form a tag team to go for those tag titles. I've got to say, you've got a lot of guts coming out here saying what you just said, especially since you know how much I don't like you. Together, I'm telling you, we're so much stronger than we are apart. I think we're going to Compliment each other very, very well. I'll start. You smell very nice today. Is there a new scent you're wearing? <laughs> the two of us are prime examples that anything is possible when two people put aside their differences with the goal of achieving something greater than either of us or either of them. That's when real progress is are made. So it looks like these two, or Rita Viper wants to team up with her to go for those tag titles. So they're gonna be keeping a close eye on this match. The main event. Triple Threat Tornado Tag Match for the Women's Tag Team Titles. So you might see that newly formed team that we just saw face off for these tag titles in the future. We got the champions, the iconic duo, Caitlin Frost and Tiffany Barnes. Going up against the tribe, Casey Warhawk and Linda Dreamcatcher. Going up against Los Loca Lobos, Brittany and Denise. So Brittany and Denise defeated the tag champs a couple weeks ago, and then they faced off the last few weeks in one-on-one -on -one matches where Caitlin defeated Denise and then Brittany defeated Tiffany uh, a couple weeks ago. And then the tribe was dealing with the former tag champs, the Sisters of Destruction, defeating them what two two or three weeks in a row. So that's why they're in this match. Because they clearly deserve a shot at these tag titles too. And so does Los Loca Lobos. So who's going to be defending the LCW Women's Tag Team titles at the pay-per-view? In Hell in a Cell? We're going to find out right now. Can't wait for this match. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new on my Twitch channel, hit that follow button.
There we go. Can we start the match already, please? So this is tornado tag rule. So everyone is going to be in the ring at once. So I really wish that they would have just made it like how it is in real life. Where, you know, two people star and then you could tag whoever you want. But here we go. Tornado. Triple threat tag team match for the women's tag team titles. And it's not elimination rules. It's pretty much first pinfall or submission wins. Here they come. The tribe. The team that freaking pretty much owns the Sisters of Destruction or owned the Sisters of Destruction the past few weeks and now they've earned a tag team title shot they earned a spot in this matchup I would love to see these two face off against the banditas from the underground. Here they come, the women's tag team champs. Are these two going to retain those tag titles right here, right now? They got the disadvantage in this matchup because the last time these titles were defended with two other teams involved in the match were the Sister of Destruction. They defended them in a fatal four-way tag match, and they ended up losing. So the champions are definitely in a disadvantage. And they come Los Loca Lobos, Denise and Brittany. They do have a third member who you'll see in action next week. The local Lobos lost earlier. Let's see if the Loca Lobos can bring home the women tag team titles. Here we go. And Denise and Caitlin going right for each other. Oh, Brain Buster by Brittany. Denise with that angle slam. Linda dropping Brittany. Tiffany got Casey in a single leg Boston Crab. Oh, going for the end of days. 
but Caitlin Frost showing off her agility. And now Caitlin Frost going for a submission hold. Linda breaking up that submission lock. But look at Caitlin just bouncing the head of Denise. Tiffany. Oh, got her in the armbar. She's looking to retain the, the tag titles for her team, but Casey with some forearms right to the freaking face of Tiffany. Brittany on the outside resting up while her teammate is getting double teamed by Caitlin Frost and Linda. Oh, big back body drop by Casey Warhawk. And now Denise fighting back. And now Casey Warhawk tossing Denise to the outside. Shining Wizard. Oh, nice kick. Nice drop kick by Brittany. Where are you, ref? The tribe! Your new LCW Women Tag Champs. Casey Warhawk with that flying forearm dropping Brittany from preventing her from breaking up that count. And Linda pinning Caitlin, no, pinning Tiffany Barnes. to become the new LCW Women Tag Team Champs. There you go, the flying forearm dropping Brittany, preventing her from breaking up the count. And your new LCW Women Tag Team Champs. Well-deserved victory for these two ladies. Woo! God, what happened to Caitlyn? Like, she was nowhere around to save her partner right there. But congratulations to the tribe. Your new LCW Women World... Well, not World Tag Champs, but LCW Women Tag Team Champs. That's the end of the episode, but I'm going to do a quick recap. JT3 called out Evil Eyes because if you guys remembered, Evil Eyes did defeat JT3 a couple weeks ago in a one-on-one -on -one match, so he called them out. Evil Eyes had to stay out there because he had a one-on-one -on -one match with yours truly, Local Joe, and um, got that victory over me. A pretty good victory, I may say. It was a back and forth matchup. Evil Eyes just was the better man. So, Poison and Havoc got another victory over the Faces of Fear, Mass Terror, and Alpha Terror, with the help of Trevor, though, when they connected with that Into the Darkness bomb, helping. Trevor or helping Poison and Havoc get that victory so what's going to happen next week since Trevor wanted to get involved in this matchup to make it a 3 on 2 next week Trevor is going to be in a, in a 2 on 1 handicap match against Mass Terror and Alpha Terror so good luck Trevor JT3 with the victory over Akani Hero in a back and forth match. I thought Akani Hero was going to get that win. But JT3 couldn't celebrate for too long because Alistair Klein cashed in his briefcase to become the new LCW World Heavyweight Champ in 
a pretty good ass match, I may say. JT3 did not want to just lay down for Aleister Klein. He fought his ass off, but Aleister Klein was just too much. AJ Lee making the new women's world champion tap out, pretty much earning a spot in that women's world title match at the next pay-per-view making it a triple threat hell in a cell match for the women's world title so it'll be AJ Lee Low London and Saul Guerrero triple threat for the women's world title in hell in a cell at the next pay-per-view no escape what's up Ray <laughs> The upset of the night right here. Aaron Cassidy defeating Aleister Klein, the new world heavyweight champ, who had to defend his U.S. title. Aaron Cassidy defeating Aleister Klein, becoming the new U.S. champ. And in the next few weeks leading up to the next pay-per-view, we're going to have a series of matches and then the go home show of the pay per view. There'll be a fatal four way to determine the number one contender to the U.S. title. So can't wait for that. Twisted Metal getting a victory over Ray Wolf and Dios de la Guerra and Los Loco Lobos in a back and forth type match. Or back and forth tag team match. This was a hell of a tag team match. But Twisted Metal got the best of Los Loco Lobos. Maybe these two will face off in matches to qualify for that fatal four way that I was talking about. So we'll see what happens next week. Rita Viper calling out Lisa making her debut wanting to form a tag team with her because she wants to go for these tag titles which you just witnessed the tribe becoming the new LCW women tag team champions and that was your main event what a show this was insane Alistair Klein cashing in to become the new world heavyweight champ then losing his U.S. title to Aaron Cassidy. That was great. Your new LCW Women Tag Team Champions, The Tribe. On Friday, in the underground, OJJ will get his one-on-one -on -one title shot rematch against the new champ, Matt Justice. So that will probably be the main event. Well, actually, no, it won't. The main event will be Anthony Walker versus, what's his name, uh, fuck, Draven Storm in a death, what was it called, D a death camp match, which is a Hell in a Cell, Iron Man submissions only match. So I can't wait to watch that one. So there you have it. Friday's going to be a pretty good show this was a great show uh, thanks everyone for stopping by if you're watching this on the premiere on my YouTube channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on Friday for another LCW underground episode Ray we can freaking play something right now Apex Fortnite something I'll hit you up in a bit and I'll hit everyone else up on Friday for a new LCW Underground episode local out